and squat day final day 200 squats at least is the last day of squats so <clears throat> what can i say we will suffer to it we'll get to it and we're ending the challenge i'm so glad i was able to leave the challenge with you guys hope you enjoyed it as well if you did leave a like and subscribe many more all kinds of videos coming up it will be wonderful it will be fun entertaining learning experience and everything so hope you're enjoying this challenge ending the other ones soon and yeah so what we're going to talk but today it will be a shorter one i wanted to take a different approach and give you a short example of a story i have in my life of something that i used to have and i didn't appreciate at one point and then i lost it and now i want to get it back but at this point unfortunately i cannot so we'll have it later on and i'll do many many videos with it so what am i talking about i'm talking about i had a motorcycle when i was younger before i was able to drive a car i had a motorcycle and eventually i pretty much got used to it i loved it very much but i got used to it and i was like i want to have a car when it's raining when it's snowy i can drive it like whatever and eventually i got a car and now at this stage at this point of my life i really want a motorcycle but i want a big one that is a little bit too expensive for me at that point and i cannot get it and eventually i will get it it's a yamaha t-max i want it very much and now i appreciate what i had and the lesson i learned from that story is as it for uh, the lesson is the most basic lesson is that humans in their nature don't appreciate something they have but when i when they lose it or not not necessarily lose it in a bad way but just get rid of it because maybe they had enough of it maybe it was a i don't know an old laptop uh something an old car old something i mean it may not be a thing maybe uh something i don't know a human some some friend something and then you realize that you haven't appreciated it enough when you had it and you could have spent more time with it and the story involves a material thing but this can be true for everything it can be true for friends for family for everything that appreciate something uh when you have it even if sometimes it gets you angry or you're bored from it or if it's a person you get frustrated with them or they don't agree with you or you argue a lot i mean but still they're a person in your life you love them if you love them of course and appreciate them while you have them because you never know when you separate if it's a uh, if it's a material thing if it's a person if it's a i don't know an emotion you have uh, some experience that you used to have every day maybe you used to go to some gym and you're like i'm rid of i'm sick of this gym anymore and you go to another gym and it's, uh, the bench press was very nice back then so now it's full of shit and appreciate what you have uh, when you have it not after you lose it or you just get rid of it it just th this lesson applies to everything in life maybe it will be different considering the situation the circumstances but all in all uh, appreciate what you have in life be thankful for it even if sometimes you're not fully satisfied with it my dogs sometimes angry with me but i love them very much and i'm grateful for them for example i mean and yeah let's do some squats and we'll talk a little bit more right back
let's say the challenge is finally completed thousand squats guys hope you enjoyed and leave a like and subscribe if you did first challenge finished i feel proud of myself feel glad that i started it that made me do squats i wouldn't do near those amount of squats if it wasn't for the challenge but that's why the challenge was started for and to entertain you guys a little bit to have some different kind of videos not everything the same and yeah uh, so from the point of earlier be grateful guys be grateful for the times for everything uh, appreciate it appreciate for the time we have for the beautiful planet we are on that for now we are at peace at least some of us some of us don't but appreciate that it isn't in your country if you don't have if you do have war in your country and i have no expertise i have nothing to say to you because uh except that the leaders are fucking pieces of shit and all of them should be thrown in a pit because of starting these fucking wars and killing innocent people regardless of which side the higher ups are the ones that are guilty for everything <sighs> yeah the people may have some fault but those that take the decisions and make the decisions those are the ones that should be judged and punished for the wars not normal people that are trying to live normal lives that's the only thing i can say i don't know what advice to give you otherwise besides i don't know catch your fucking leaders and make them pay i don't know what to say i'm not i don't have have an experience that have no life experience on that hopefully i won't have but either way guys hope you to those that have war in their country hope you get out of it and hope it stops as soon as possible love you all from whatever from wherever you are if you're a good person to everybody to everything to the nature to the animals to people i love you if you're not then you're a piece of shit that's what i can say and be grateful for everything be happy that you have something even if it's old even if you're bored of it even if you're frustrated or angry at it or or it's a person or whatever or a situation or a city or whatever and yeah thank you all and we're going i'm going to go end some other challenges.